Hello, we are the Mission to Start CSFIP interns. Our work is vital to the environment because we work to prevent pollution from going into our watershed and ocean. Some of these pollutants may be caused by you, including litter, known as TSS in our industry, and also the food you drop in the lunch table area. Did you know that when dropped food particles go into our watershed, they cause a decreased level of dissolved oxygen in the water? What do you think happens in the fish and other creatures if there is not enough oxygen in the water? This year, we studied many pollutants at Mission Estancia and put d data in a SWIP report. SWIP stands for Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan. Another part of our job is to find solutions and make a plan. It's called a BMP or Best Management Practice. Today, we are going to tell you all about our BMPs and teach you how to use BMPs at home and to help fight stormwater pollution. My name is Taylor. And I will be talking to you about one of our BMPs. What we did with this project is that we added an overflow pipe to the rain barrel. We did this because the playground area near the rain barrel continues to overflow and flood. We came up with this idea when we saw that the rain barrel overflows, the water will just spill out and flood the playground area. We still have some work to do with this BMP. The overflow drain pipe is too short and needs to be extended closer to the actual drain without blocking the fence or creating a tripping hazard. In order to do this, the best option would be to have the pipe cut through the fence, go long enough so that it doesn't block the fence, but can still be effective and make it all the way to the drain. Hi, my name is Avery Walensky and I'm part of SWIP Internship. I experienced something in my neighborhood called illegal dumping. Illegal dumping is very bad and harmful for our ocean, our planet, and the animals living on our planet. Illegal dumping is when someone pours a hazardous waste, like mo motor oil or chemicals or paint, down the stormwater drain without getting cleaned or treated. In my neighborhood, there was a company that was working on one of the houses. And one of the men started dumping paint right onto the street, which led right into the storm drain. And it wasn't like a teeny bitty, like, little bit of paint. It was a lot, like a whole bucket full. And the marks are still there. I hope that you learned that illegal dumping is horrible for the ocean and that you should not do it. Before the first Earth Day in 1970, People and companies dumped their hazardous wastes into rivers, lakes, and the ocean. Some rivers got so polluted that they began to catch on fire. Many people protested and demanded our government to do something to protect us from the unhealthy effects of poor air and water quality. Those efforts brought about the Clean Air and Clean Water Acts and included laws that make it illegal to dump waste. All of us live in a watershed that leads right to the ocean. Here are some things you can do at home to protect our watershed and ocean. Correctly disposing of hazardous wastes like paint, motor oil, and chemicals is very important to protect our watershed and ocean. Be sure to dispose of them at Hazardous Waste Facility. Have you ever noticed sprinklers on even when it's raining? What a big waste of water. Be sure to keep track of the weather and make sure your sprinklers are off when there's rain in the forecast. Also, be sure that your sprinklers are facing the right way and not watering a non-pervious surface like concrete. And be sure that you're not overwatering and letting water flow onto the curb into the street and storm drain. The runoff carries fertilizer that creates algae growth in the watershed, harming those ecosystems. For goodness sake, please pick up your pet's waste. Total coliform is a bacteria found in animal waste that can be harmful to humans. 
if they were to surf or swim in it. And that is what happens after it rains. Stormwater washes the waste into the storm drain and goes straight down to the ocean. So please pick up your animal's feces. Would you swim in or eat fish from water you've cleaned your car with? Think about that the next time you go to wash your car in your driveway. The runoff from your driveway car wash contains harmful chemicals from cleaners, oil, and grease, and toxic substances like brake dust. All this pollution flows into the street, into the storm drain, through our waterways to the ocean. Be sure to wash your car at the car wash. When it rains, storm water runoff flows over the ground, picks up pollution, and goes into storm drains that lead to the ocean. This water does not get filtered or cleaned and pollutes our watershed and beaches. Rain barrels not only help reduce polluted stormwater runoff by capturing the water before it can run off, they also conserve water by collecting and saving rainwater for later use. Plants such as cactuses and succulents store water in their leaves and can go a long period of time without having to be watered. Irrigating less saves water and stops water from running down your property and into a storm drain, carrying other pollutants with it. The litter you see on the ground is very likely to end up in the ocean. Aquatic creatures mistake litter for food, eat it, and get sick. Sometimes they even die. If you see litter, pick it up and always throw garbage in the trash. Be sure to close the lid on your trash cans. Plastic wrappers and grocery bags are very light and can be blown by the wind all the way to the ocean. Single-use plastics may be convenient for you, but not for our planet. Items made of plastic do not biodegrade, but instead decompose into smaller and smaller pieces. Plastic never goes away. Plastic has caused a big problem for our planet and the creatures living on it. According to the Ocean Conservancy, 8 million metric tons of plastic waste flows into the ocean every year. Single-use plastics can be avoided by refusing to take them in the first place, but by choosing a reusable item instead. Fighting this problem starts with your choices. Be sure to use your reusable grocery bags, straws, water bottles, utensils, and avoid Ziploc bags and use reusable containers instead. Sweep up yard waste and put it into the green recycling bin. When leaves and dirt end up in the watershed, they cover fish eggs, clog fish gills, cloud the water, and block sunlight that aquatic ecosystems need to thrive. Instead of using your hose to clean your driveway, sweep up the debris into a dustpan and empty it in the trash. That way, the debris does not go into the storm drain. We hope you take some of our tips and take actions to keep pollution out of our watershed. Because, like the great Dr. Seuss wrote, Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Three, two, one. Illegal, illegal dumping. Sorry. Yes? Sorry, start over. Pictures? I don't really like the guy washing his car in the ocean. I feel like that's just wrong. Prohibit. Illegal. Prohibit. Prohibit waste dumping. Prohibit. Okay. okay Should just I just start over or just do those efforts? Oh, do you want to use props? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I do very okay. much. And included laws that pro prohibit. No. You are. Yeah.
podcasts. Reusable, 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 reusable. And that is all.